King Jack, I'm back with another one. Welcome to the Baltimore Sports Network. I'm your host, King Jack, and we're back with what another one. What do you do, yo? This is the host of Baltimore Sports Network. I'm your host, King Jack, and I'm back with another one. Let's talk about it. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. I'm going to keep it real with you, man. I know um, Kyrie Irving, I know he's been getting a lot of criticism for um his latest antics about him posting the mo that, um movie from Netflix what was called he the Hebrew Israelite. I know a lot of people say he's just like a problem player, like he always in the media. But we got to give credit when credit due, y'all. So Kyrie Irving gave people that was in need of a kidney transplant 26000 a apiece, y'all. Kyrie Irving donated 26000 to each person that needed a kidney transplant. And I like to say we never acknowledge players or athletes or celebrities when they do something great, man. I know sometimes they don't they don't want to get a credit, but sometimes we gotta give them that credit because they're human beings too. We also we can't just keep saying bad things about these celebrities or athletes. We gotta say the good things they do too. Cause a lot of them do good things and they don't sit up about it. I think Kyrie Irving, he always do and setting about it, his image always block the good things he do. Kyrie Irving always try to find a way to give back. And this is an amazing story, bro. For him to do something like that, that is amazing. To help someone else live longer and also get better shape and better health. This is amazing, y'all. But Kyrie Irving donated $26,000 to each kidney transplant person. This is amazing, man. We need to start recognizing these type of humanity Things that some of these people are doing, especially with Kyrie Irving. I just think that, being as though the media portrayed Kyrie Irving a certain way, he don't get his credit. And you got to look at it. Like, I was just telling my homeboy about, um, because we from Baltimore. Everyone is going crazy about Javante Tank Davis converting to Islam, Muslim. Like, bro, there's nothing wrong with that. He want to be a better version of himself. And he feels, though, Islamic Allah can help him be a better version of himself. Because you got to look at it. It's the same way how I look at Kyrie Irving. These ain't nothing but young, multi-million dollar, multi -million dollar people. They trying to find out who their truly self is. Think about it. If I got all the money in the world, all the cars, all the jewelry, now I want to find out who I am and where I come from. And I think that's what Kyrie Irving been on the track. That's what I think that's what bothering Kyrie Irving and also Javante Tank Davis. Because they got everything that a man can have, but they... Don't know where they came from. And when I say where they came from, I'm talking about that natural roots. Like, where, where they really came from. Where they was born. Is that the real name they have? Like, I think that's the type of stuff, level of knowledge. Javante Tank Davis and Kyrie Irving, they trying to seek, man. And nothing wrong with seeking your roots and where you came from. That's why I don't understand why people blowing the whole Javante converting to Islam and Kyrie Irving person, Hebrew, Israelite, saying he was anti-Semitic. I don't think that guy anti-Semitic at all, man. Like I said, these guys is multi-million dollar, multi-millionaires just trying to find out their identity of where they was born. Because if you look at it, a lot of African-American history has been destroyed. We don't know where we came from. We don't even know if our real name is our real name. And I think Kyrie Irving... And Javante Davis, they, they at that level where it's though, look, I got all the money, the fame, all the materialistic things. I want to get to know where I came from. I want to know my history. I want to know my roots. That's not wrong, man. I think we should stop bashing these people that want better for themselves and also trying to find out where we've come from, man. There's nothing wrong with that because the African-American history has been erased, man. And these guys got the, the money where though, they could try to travel and just help us. The, the less fortunate, the, the money that we don't, the stuff that we don't have, they can share some light on us and give us information. And so they got money and everything. They can reach certain people that we can't reach. And they can bring back the information and help us and find out where we all came from. Because if you look at it, a lot of black history has been erased. So we don't know nothing. There's nothing wrong for Kyrie Irving trying to find out his natural roots. There's nothing for Javante Tank Davis to find out his natural roots. There's nothing wrong with that. Think about it. You got everything in the world, but you don't know who you is as a person and where you came from. That would bother me if I was them, man. I was trying to find it, and I think that's what they're doing. I think Kyrie Irving and Javante think they were trying to seek their roots and where they came from. There's nothing wrong with that. But like I said, I ain't going to go too off topic. I just want to break down a scenario. But we're going to talk about um Kyrie Irving, and that was that was wonderful what he did. Like I said, he donated 26000 to kidney transplant people. That was on the uh trying to get new kidneys. So shout out to Kyrie Irving, bro. I'm a I'm gonna give you flowers for that, bro. And I know you do more than that. You just don't put it 
put it out there. But shout out to Kyrie Irving for doing the humanity thing, man. And always remember, there's nothing wrong with seeking knowledge, y'all. It's everyone think it's bad when you're trying to seek knowledge. Nothing wrong with seeking knowledge and also your roots and where you came from, especially if you were African American, because a lot of your history has been been erased. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm the host of I'm the host of Baltimore Sport Network. I'm King Jack. Leave me a comment in the section if you if you um agree with what I said or if you don't agree, leave a comment uh, of your angle and what you think. But let me know though.